Welcome back. Today we're going to make a cute back to school design as well as I'm going to show you some viewer submitted photos of their back to school designs. I'm starting out here by using a chalk pencil to line out the arch of a rainbow. This is eventually going to become a pencil so I'm going to draw a little bit of a point here for the tip of the pencil and then I'm going to take a damp paper towel to get rid of the extra lines on the side so I'm also making room for the eraser and the little silver part on the pencil. I'm going to give this arch of the rainbow, just the arch, a little bit of a base coat of the Liquitex gesso because Santorini stones can be a little bit porous so this helps kind of seal off the stone and will give our color a nice vibrant shine. I am going to use this sunbeam yellow to custom mix a pencil yellow by adding a dab of this apricot and then a dab of Liquitex gesso to make sure it's nice and solid. So I'm just going to mix this up and then add it to the rainbow. This was a design from last year and I saw it as sort of a scrapbook, a snapshot of a moment in time. I had no idea that it actually would still be relevant this year. So here's to a new school year of staying safe and staying healthy. I'm just gonna continue to fill this yellow in until the entire piece of the pencil is filled in. I am gonna stop towards the end here because I'm gonna add a different color to represent the wood on the pencil. So I'm going to use this sun-kissed peach to add the wood on the pencil tip before adding the lead. So just a little bit of color here and then I'm also going to add some wavy lines with the yellow to signify kind of how the pencil looks when it's sharpened. Next I'm going to take some silver paint for that little piece on the end of the pencil below the eraser. And I'm going to use horizontal strokes to kind of create that texture of the little bumps and lines that are in a real pencil. Then I'm going to take this pink eraser paint for exactly that, the pink eraser. It was the perfect paint color for the eraser on this pencil. Now let's take a peek at a couple of your designs. These two rocks were submitted by one of our most loyal viewers, Tabitha in Florida, and even better, her daughter also did a rock. Girl, your teacher is gonna love this rock. You did awesome. Now let's finish off this pencil with some detail. So I'm gonna take a seven millimeter Posca paint pen to add the pencil lead, and then I'm gonna outline the entire design with a Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen. Let's take a peek at another viewer design. This rock comes to us from KD in Western Washington. You rock and you rule. Now I'm gonna add a second arch to our rainbow. Fill that in with some Liquitex gesso again to seal the Santorini and give a nice base for the color. And then we're gonna take some Caribbean turquoise and fill that in with a couple of coats until it's nice and solid. This is one of my favorite colors, but it can be kind of finicky, especially if your paint's been sitting around for a while and it gets a little watery. So this one definitely needs a couple of coats so that the color is nice and solid and ready for the accent designs. Before we finish off this design, let's take a look at one more viewer submitted photo. This one is from Minnie in San Diego. It's adorable and some little kid is going to be so happy to find this. Can't have a teacher's gift without an apple on it. So we're going to take this Thule Art acrylic paint pen and add a heart shaped apple. So just draw out a heart and color it in. And then I'm going to take a brown paint pen and a green paint pen to add a stem and leaves to this cute little apple. I'm also going to take a white paint pen to add this little accent to add the shine to the apple. Now coming back to that teal rainbow, we are going to add some taller lines on this. It's going to be a ruler. So we're going to start with the longer lines and then fill in a bunch of smaller lines in between them. So it makes a cute little ruler. Now I'm 
coming back through with that Sakura brush pen again to give an outline to the ruler so there's just a little extra definition. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing with our heart-shaped apple. Just outline the whole thing, add a little accent line to the leaf and give it a little bit of definition. It makes it stand out a little bit more once the sealer is on. Now I'm gonna take a dotting tool and the rainbow colors and just fill in that white space between the pencil and the ruler. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And it just completes this design by filling in that white space. Don't think too hard about this part. It's just random dots to fill in that space. Embrace the imperfection. That's gonna be our new phrase. This design is one of my favorites. We actually gifted it to my first graders teacher and she loved it. Thank you so much to everyone that submitted their designs to share with us. And thank you for stopping by to watch. Wishing everyone a safe, happy, and healthy back to school. I will see you next time.